Kids with cochlear implants can now hear every shout and splash while participating in water sports. Thanks to a new waterproof technology available through the cochlear implant service at Glenrose Rehabilitation Hospital. What we're seeing today is that one of our cochlear implant companies just released a aqua accessory that allows them to take their cochlear implant and slide it into a water sealable uh, case with a specially designed cable coil that allows them to hear in the water just like all the other kids. Cochlear implants are used to treat certain types of hearing loss and are comprised of two parts, a device that a surgeon implants in the skull and ear and an external component that's worn on and above the ear. The new waterproof design uses sleeves and rubberized components to keep the electronics dry while the wearer participates in water sports. Historically, when kids or adults had hearing loss and they wore either a hearing aid or a cochlear implant, they had to take the device off to go in the water. It's actually really difficult because there's a lot of socialization that happens in the water. There are also safety issues with not being able to hear in the water. Uh, if you're out at the lake and a boat is coming up, uh, you might not hear it. At the pool, the lifeguard might uh, blow a whistle or need your attention and, and you don't hear it. So my friends are talking and I, and I don't have it, I can't hear. And the if I have it, I can hear what they're trying to say. Before he would go, to the swimming pool and all of his friends would be interacting socially and he wouldn't be able to do that and now you can see he's in the pool and he's swimming and he's going down and you know he stated that he's heard for the first time when he goes down what it sounds like for the water um, underneath the surface of the water so yeah I think it'll be really good for him and he He'll just be happier and he'll be able to actually interact way more with, his, with the, the peers and do what they're doing. This is the first time we've seen it, is really today. But um, we do a lot of water activities and he loves swimming. And uh, learning to swim is really a life skill, so it's not an option. He has to know how to swim. The other thing we do a lot of is boating and tubing and swimming and playing at the lake. And so right now what happens is he'll take his ears off. If he's going to go swimming in the lake, he'll take his ears off. And so now what this will enable him to do is to go on the tube with his ears on and hear the laughter and the splashing and the screaming and the boat and that whole experience. Having a waterproof case for his implant where now he can use it in the water, it's going to um, gain a little bit of more security in a safety issue for us because before you can't speak to him, you can't yell out to him that he needs to get out of the water or don't go so far um, and now we can. Where before they, you could yell at him until you're blue in the face, he's not going to hear anything and then some adults would think that he's being rude and being defiant because he's not listening or he's not following the instructions where it's not the case. He can't follow the instructions because he can't hear the instructions. One of the kids that I follow is a very social boy. He plays hockey, he's involved in a lot of sports and he told, it, he came to see me in May and he said, I said, so are you going to have a year-end party? And he said, I hate the year-end party, which really surprised me because he was such a social kid. Well, it turns out year-end party was always at West Edmonton Mall Water Park and it meant that he couldn't participate socially. He could go up and down the water slides but he was not a part of things and he dreaded it. He would actually miss it and uh, now he'll be able to participate fully. It's very exciting.